Hello everybody, it's finally here. After all this time, two, three weeks of me constantly telling you guys I finally have it. I finally gonna do it. This is my Xbox One impressions video, voiceover commentary of some actually some pretty old Battle for Four gameplay, I've gotta admit. This has been on my hard Xbox hard drive since January the seventh, and you might actually see some gameplay from one of my battlefielding episodes that you may have uh, you, you you'll probably see I'll take out a helicopter in a little bit. Anyways, um, let's get started. First of all, next the console itself, like the design of the console. Yes, it's what's called big black brick, and you could beat someone to death with it. Yeah, that's kind of true. But I think it's actually one of the coolest console designs I've seen in a while. I mean, it just like it blends in perfectly. I've got it sitting right next to my Xbox 360 right now, actually. Uh, I might pull that up in a photo in a second. But it looks really, really good. I like the design. The Kinect actually goes really well with it. The controller... <laughs> the controller is the best controller I have ever used. It has... The buttons are perfectly... They're really clicky. <clears throat> the... The... Stick... I uh, The controls... Well, yeah, the... Analog sticks are really good. But the triggers just feel amazing. I mean, they just feel really, really amazing. Especially when you pull them down. Uh, the Xbox 360 they were fine, but it felt like it required too much force to push it compared to this. Actually, in fact, I started playing some Grand Theft Auto 5 the other day on my 360, and holding that 360 controller again for the first time after a, about a week of playing nothing but the Xbox One felt really, really weird because I'm so used to the new controller that feels so much better. I mean, the 360 controller was really good. I, I'm not saying that. The controller, before this, this that was my favorite controller I've ever done. It was just fantastic. But this controller is just amazing. Uh, anyways, uh, the UI, I am kind of on the fence about this. It's it's good, but there's definitely some improvements that they need to make. Like, for example, getting to your friends and inviting to a party takes way, way too much effort. Whereas on the 360, it was pretty, it was pretty easy to do. It was really, it just pulled up, you press a few buttons and you're there. Now you've got to like do snap this, snap that, which by the way, the snap feature is really, really great. Uh, I used it a little bit with my 360, and it. And I was actually using. Uh, I had my 360 hooked up to my Xbox One for a bit using the HDMI in in the back, and I was actually looking up Grand Theft Auto 5 cheat codes on my Xbox One while I was playing Grand Theft Auto 5 because you can still, you can you can completely almost completely control your console, and you can completely control your Xbox One without using a controller unless it unless you're actually playing a game itself. So the snap feature. And, oh yeah, by, speaking of voice controls, the Kinect is amazing. I am a user of the original Kinect, and I, I am not going to be one of those people who say, well, it's, it was a, no, it was a piece of crap. Uh, but this one is definitely worth the extra money that Microsoft made the Xbox One. Cost $100 more than, say, the PS4 did, because, well, yeah, the PS4 is 400 this one's 500 The Kinect is worth it. The voice controls are fantastic. I haven't spent much time with the motion controls, but the... the the, the voice controls, you just, if you speak clear enough, uh, you, you, you get used to it. Maybe It might feel weird a little bit at first, but if you get used to it, it's just amazing. Uh, I have not had, it works 80, 90% of the time, so you will not be disappointed by the Kinect on this console. Uh, game launch lineup, I have four games for it. I have the free Killer Instinct, which I may put a video up eventually, but I've only got the one character that you can have unlocked. I have Zoo Tycoon, which you've already seen a little bit of. I might make some more Zoo Tycoon videos eventually. Battlefield 4, obviously, and Rise Son of Rome, which is the very first video I put on my channel ever since I got the Xbox One. Uh, I might go back to that. I quit playing that mainly because there was a boss fight I couldn't beat, so I may end up going back to that. Hopefully, I will have it beaten, and you might be able to see some really good combos. The game's alright. I just didn't like the amount of just pressing the same button over and over and over again. Uh, it wasn't. Just, it just wasn't much variety. But Battlefield 4 has definitely been a fantastic experience. I have had little to no pro game problems aside from server issues, which is on EA's end, not mine. So the console itself is really good. Overall, I'd give this console an uh, eight or nine out of ten. Uh, it'll definitely be a nine once all the UI issues are fixed and it's not as hard to navigate through some of the menus. But I would definitely recommend buying this product if you're deciding between an Xbox One or PS4. But if you were really, really, really hoping for true, true, complete next-gen graphics, you'd either want to go with a PS4 or a PS, or a P, I'm sorry, a PC. But as a console, the Xbox One is fantastic, and I think you should buy it. Anyways, that time's up for now, and thank you for watching. I might have another one for Battlefield 4 soon.